this review is of Soylent Banana Ready to Eat Meal. And on the back here, we can see that it's kosher. So it's safe for Jews and Muslims. It's gluten free. It's vegan. <clears throat> Let's see. What else can we see here? Mm, no artificially flavor. Blah, 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 blah. No artificial flavors or colors. Um, hmm. Well, ingredients and nutrition facts. You know, I really have to wonder how old the people are who made this company. And here's why. There used to be, although well, still is, this old, old movie um, back from, the, I think, the 50s. And... Um, it was a sci-fi movie. It was about a dystopian future where too many people existed and there wasn't enough food for everybody. <clears throat> and only the rich, surprise, surprise, were able to enjoy the, the luxuries of fresh fruit and vegetables and things like that. And everybody else really struggled. So, the story goes that this one man... Uh, gains access um, to the homes of rich people through his employment. And he starts to see um, up, up close the, excuse me, the, um, I guess you could say, the, di the disparity between what he and most people experience and what um, the rich enjoy. And, but then, he starts to notice some odd things, and he becomes very concerned. Now, for some reason, periodically, there are these trucks that come around, and I mean, they're like these huge bulldozers, <clears throat> and they come around where there are crowds of people, and they'll just lift up a bunch of people in, in bulldozer, um, which is, seems very callous, and carry them away. Uh, never to be seen again. Well, he lives with his father, and he always, like, he'll, like, sneak a little, he and his father will, like, occasionally get some fruit and vegetable from rich people, I think sneakily, but I'm not really sure, uh, that they share, uh, very, very, almost ritualistically, um, certainly rapturously, because it's a, such a major treat for them to have fresh fruit and vegetables, um, then one day his father dies and he takes his father to the place where you take your dead people and <clears throat> he's having str some trouble you know kind of digesting the loss of his father and I don't know, again, I have to cut this story short basically he he decides to observe what's happening behind the scenes. So he goes behind the scenes, he follows the vehicle that his father's body is put into, which goes to a factory. He goes into the factory and watches as his father is put into some kind of a machine. Which, you know, a little bit odd. Why is your father being put into a machine? So he comes to suspect there's something nefarious going on with dead bodies. Um, as it turns out, the machines and the bulldozers are all connected because they are the source of food for the poor. The food that all of the poor eat is called Soylent Green, and it's made from humans. Now, I don't know if they thought it'd be funny. I certainly can't imagine that they chose this name by accident. They do actually have a product called Soylent Green. I just don't understand why they would be. I don't know. It's pretty twisted, if you think, if you think about it. Anyways, let's, let's enjoy some Soylent Banana. Or is it? <laughs> Alrighty, so it has a safety seal on it.
it had an outer safety seal as well. And I just cut my nails, so I'm struggling here. There we go. Merry breakfast. Hmm. Well, water, soy protein isolate, multi-dextrin, multidextrin. Uh, oh, oh, I can't even pronounce. Oh, high oleic sunflower oil, allulose. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Don't know what that is. Can clack, it looks like. Anyways, it's not bad. It does certainly have a banana flavor to it. Um, and it is kind of thick. If, uh, if you look at it, I mean, one bottle, that's 400 calories. That's a lot of calories, <clears throat> I must say. So, um, and 300 milligrams of sodium, that's also a lot. But it does have a whole heck of a lot of different vitamins in it, which gives you, for the most part, 20% of each, except for calcium and potassium, which are 10 and 15% respectively, but that's not bad. And uh, if you, especially I guess, if you are somebody who tends to eat a lot of fast food and a lot of junk food, this might be a good choice for you, seeing as how you're destroying your body. Hello. If you have uh, hypertension like I do, you may not want to, you know, routinely consume this product. Uh, but consult with your doctor. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.